You ever seen that meme, local man too angry to die? That is this, the path of the zealot. It's probably the coolest one that I've ever seen for a barbarian, and there's a lot of cool barbarian ones, specifically in Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which is what this is in. So, path of the zealot, in essence, is when you take a barbarian, who is an angry, rage-fueled person with a big weapon hitting things and not taking a bunch of damage and being fine. It's kind of the general thing. Zealots are basically like that, except that they also are very good at just staying alive slash being extremely easily revived. And they do this through being a wannabe cleric. So basically, a zealot worships a god. And whatever god that you choose can be anything you like, and you can kind of flavor it like that. But it would probably, not definitely, probably be on the side of a god that might like killing slash war slash death. Not saying you can't choose uh, Mistra, God of Arcana, and magic and stuff, but I think it's easier to just worship Bane or something and just stab, stab, stab. So basically, a zealot gets a bunch of cool features. Unlike in some of these videos, I'm not going to tell you about all the extra spells that the class gets, because barbarians don't get too many. I believe there are subclasses where you can get ritual spells to cast, like speak with animals animals and clairvoyance, not much else. So at third level, you're gonna get Divine Fury. So basically, when you're angry and you hit somebody for the first time on your turn, they're taking an extra d6 plus half your barbarian level, which is either necrotic or radiant, depending on entirely your choice. It's not like Spirit Guardians, where depending on your alignment it changes. It's instead just what you think would be appropriate. So, for instance, perhaps you are a worshipper of Baal. Definitely necrotic. But maybe you're a worshipper of Ra, the god of sun, probably radiant, and that's your choice. Late level, this can get crazy when your first attack has like a plus 20 to the damage modifier, and that can just keep going up and up and up and up and up. Taking something like Great Weapon Master on this class with Divine Fury is highly recommended. Also at third level, because barbarians might get two sometimes, you are a warrior of the gods, which is one of the most fun abilities ever. So I'll explain revival spells to you. If a character dies, failing three of their death saves and going splat, then the way you get them back is with a revival spell slash scroll slash item. Normally they either cost a buttload, are very hard to find, or something along those lines. With a zealot, as long as someone has the spell, no material components are needed. That 300 gold gem that you need for a vivify, it's fine on the zealot. You can just bring them back with just a third level spell slot. You want to raise dead them after two days of finally finding their corpse? Sure, instantaneous. You don't need to spend money on it. I mean, it's, it's conditional, but it kind of encourages your zealot to run in and hit things more because even if they literally die they're probably fine so you know it's pretty neat and it's just cool for the flavor as well like the god that you worship likes you so much that they're just like okay you can just come back for free that's a middle finger to clerics right there your next ability comes at sixth level which is fanatical focus it's not amazing but it's pretty cool if you fail a saving throw when you're angry or raging you can re-roll it and you must use the new roll and you can use it once per per rage. Once per rage saves this thing, because if it was like once a short or long rest, that is ass. But this ability is alright. It kind of gives you a somewhat of a sense of changing the fates and makes you feel a little more like a religious person instead of just an angry person. It has some utility since as a barbarian, you're not going to have the highest charisma, intelligence, maybe wisdom. Those saving throws aren't going to be good, so it's kind of useful to spend on something that might dominate monster or something like that. Oh, at 10th level, you get a mini channel divinity is kind of how it explains it so once every long rest as a bonus action you can scream very loud and up to 10 creatures that can hear you within 60 feet get advantage on attack rolls and saving throws until the start of your next turn advantage on attack rolls and saving throws unconditionally as mental and it's just because you scream that is insane it's once a long rest which balances it out but my god until the start of your next 
next turn. That is insane. You could have your party of five and you can just scream and they will like 99% hit everything and have more of a chance of critting and their saving throws are up so they're not really going to be affected by too many things for an entire round, which is amazing. Doesn't work on you, ironically. You don't get it, but it helps everyone else, which is amazing. And it makes the barbarian kind of feel a little more supporty and not just I hit things and then die. Finally, my actual favorite ability, Rage Beyond Death. At 14th level, while you're raging, when you get to zero hit points, you don't go unconscious. You still make death saves and you do all the same effects as taking damage with zero hit points, but if you would die to death saving throws, you don't die until your rage ends. And you die then only if you still have zero hit points. Local man, too angry to die. That is this ability. When you're raging, you can't l die. If you die, you are still up and hitting things. That's so cool. And the way that Zeal works as well is that your Mr. Cleric or your Mr. whatever else has Revivify, maybe your Redemption Paladin, I think. A paladin can take Revivify. They can walk up and they can just Revivify you and you're back on one health and you can do the whole ordeal again. And you can just keep not dying. This is a very cool one. And I mean, it's kind of sad because you're not really going to get to 14th level too much but it's such a cool feature to have. And it basically means that even if literally everyone else in your party is dead, paired up with the feature at later levels where as a barbarian, as long as you're raging, it doesn't end until you choose it to, or you die, or I believe you're incapacitated. With that, you're just, um, it's amazing. You're gonna have to burn a rage every time if you wanna keep doing this, but rage is a kind of thing you can burn because I believe it comes back on short rests. Rage Beyond Death is amazing. For the flavor of Zeal, I kind of like it. I would recommend purely for the roleplay aspect, taking a little bit of wisdom, taking perhaps proficiency in religion. Not too much that you need to dedicate yourself to to truly be a Zealer, but I truly believe that this is one of the most fun in terms of not only roleplay, but game mechanics, because you just do not stay dead. And when you die, later level, does not matter. Thank you for watching Magical Tea Party. I am your host, Jay Kanslow. Hit the like, subscribe, and rip that bell out of your screen and... Thanks for watching. Cut none of this out, Laura. Please. No editing me. Cut all of it out. Uh, Wait, not strength. You're going to have buttloads of strength. Bye-bye.